what is clearly striking in in the in the Gaza Strip and the active hostilities that are ongoing, it's the level of intensity it has already reached after four days of armed conflict. We talk now about more than 100 people killed, more than 750 people injured, and these include women, children. We also talk about uh, around 150 houses that have been completely destroyed, which means that many people had to, to leave their house and, uh, and go to, to, to evacuate to, to other places. Talking to, to a colleague who is living in the south of the Gaza Strip where we have an office, she explained me yesterday that after 30 years of ICRC in the Gaza Strip, she's, she's never seen such an intensity, especially at the very beginning of the, of the conflict. For the ICRC, obviously we have, we have major constraints. Uh, nowadays, the security is a, is a clear constraint. Again, due to the intensity and the fact that uh, it's ongoing days and nights, it became very, very difficult for the ICRC and any other humanitarian actors, including the Palestinian Red Crescent, to move all around the Gaza Strip. So this is, this is clearly a, a challenge we have to access all the people in need. So we had to, to set, of course, was a, a series of priorities. Health is definitely the first and the top priority for the time being. What we do now, again, around the clock, days and nights, is to make sure that ambulances, although with the security concerns and, uh, and problems, to try to coordinate with the parties to the, to the conflict in order to make sure that ambulance can reach the affected place as fast as possible and make sure that all the injured people can be uh, evacuated to hospitals uh, in due time. We have uh, today supported um, the local uh, health authorities with um, health and medical items which will allow them to treat more than 200 severely injured people. But this is just the very beginning of the response that we have started to, to step up and that we will uh, probably have to step up again in the coming days. Water is a big issue. Um, to give you an example, today the ICRC team has been able to go in a place as a refugee camp at the north of the, of the Gaza city, a place where 70,000 people live and, and um, it's been now seven days uh, that these people have no access to, to water. Um, thanks to the reparation we managed to do with, with local technicians today, um, water is back in, in that very big and densely populated uh, refugee camp.